Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. If you've watched some of my other channels or you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or know me at all, you know that I absolutely love food. And the only thing I don't love about food is that, well, they're perishable and their expiration dates are so varied. It's really hard to keep up with what's expired, what's not. And especially if you have a label that's kind of unreadable, I mean, is that a three or a one? Because that's a big difference. And I know a lot of times these expiration dates are not accurate at all, but have you ever eaten something the day after it's supposed to have expired? Also, I've been thinking in recent years, pretty much since 2012, let's say some disaster does happen. Let's say I'm trapped in my basement for the next three years. What foods should I have with me that won't go bad for the next three weeks? Anyway, I actually researched it and I'm telling you the answer is not a Twinkie. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about 10 foods that pretty much never expire. First up, salt. This should not come as much of a surprise as salt is a natural preservative that has been used for many, many centuries. It doesn't really expire because technically it's just a rock, a mineral that can absorb moisture, which we just so happen to eat a lot of because it makes anything originally bland taste well, taste delicious. But beyond its invaluable use in preserving and seasoning all sorts of foods, salt also has medicinal and other applications because of its ability to kill bacteria through drying them out on a cellular level. This is also the very reason for its permanence. However, be warned, not all types of salt that you store in your cupboard can last forever. For example, for example, iodized salt in particular has a shelf life of only around five years. Those that have a more infinite staying power are table salt, sea salt, and culture salt. Next up, sugar. Just like salt, sugar also has an inhospitable environment that really does not support bacterial growth, which is why it has an infinite shelf life, regardless of whether it is white or brown. But this also has a lot to do with how you store sugar. I mean, if you put it inside a tightly closed container and place it in a very dry area of your kitchen, it is unlikely that moisture will harden or spoil your sugar supply. However, some say that even solidified brown sugar still can be softened and eaten if you use a food processor or heat it up with a microwave. Next, a lot of people know about this, honey. This golden nectar of the gods, yes, that's exactly what honey is, is heralded by many as the only food that can truly last forever. And we have the flowers and the bees to thank for its creation. The magical mixture of the nectar from the flowers and the enzymes of the bees is highly acidic and also very low in moisture conditions that don't allow for bacterial growth. So if sealed properly, honey could literally last for thousands of years. In fact, an ancient supply of honey was found in Georgia and it is more than 5,000 years old, making it the oldest honey in the world ever found. Even when it has crystallized or changed in color, it can be restored to its original form through gently reheating. Next, maple syrup. Just like honey, pure maple syrup has an infinite shelf life because of its strong resistance to microbial growth. And that includes Malt. Once opened, the best way to store maple syrup and prolong its life is by pouring it into a glass container and putting it inside a freezer or a cooler. Doing so will prevent spoilage and will also ensure that the syrup is always of the best quality. However, there are cases when molding on the surface occurs, but according to maple producers, all you need to do is remove the portions with the mold and slightly boil the syrup before refrigerating it again. Number five, white vinegar. Not only does white vinegar have a lot of household uses, they also have a very, very very long shelf life. You can probably buy gallons of the stuff and never have to worry about any of it going bad. Because of its low pH, vinegar pretty much preserves itself and does not need to be refrigerated. And though some types of vinegar may alter in color or form sediments, they can still generally be consumed and used for other purposes. Today, we use vinegar not only as a condiment, but also as a cleaning agent, a practice that dates all the way back to the time of the ancient Babylonians several millennia ago. Next, hard liquor. People who enjoy drinking the hard stuff know that they don't have to finish an entire bottle as soon as they open it. And you can store this stuff anywhere and pretty much never have to worry about it spoiling. Because opened liquor containers can lose a few ounces after a while due to evaporation and may even shed off some of its distinctive aroma as the years go by. However, they will always be drinkable and the difference in taste is hardly noticeable. And even if you're not storing it for consumption, they're still really useful in medical emergencies as they are also effective disinfectants. Next up, heart attack. This cracker is made from really nothing more than water and plain flour. While this may seem like a very bland combination, heart attack is regarded as a dietary staple and supplement all over the world, not because of its taste, but because of its durability. If stored and prepared and stored properly, this dense cracker can last for decades, even up to a century, making it the perfect survival food during emergency situations. Heart attack actually saved many lives, particularly during the American Civil War, as it was one of the standard food items consumed by soldiers during that time. Several 
Both Civil War museums even keep preserved hardtacks on display to this day, and those things are, are still pretty much edible. Number eight, white rice. This might come as a surprise, but raw white or polished rice, if stored inside an airtight container and stashed in a cool, dry place, can stay fresh and keep its nutritional value for decades. Even if its container is covered with a thick layer of dirt or dust, the rice stored inside can still be cooked and eaten so long as you manage to prevent bugs and insects from getting access to it. However, the same cannot be said for brown rice. Its shelf life is much shorter, between six months to a year, due to the fact that it has a much higher oil content than polished rice. Number nine, cornstarch. We don't necessarily eat cornstarch for its flavor, but we do use it as a thickening agent to make various syrups, stews, and sauces. Outside of it being a very nutrient-rich food item, this gluten-free powder is also effective in removing odors, treating burns and rashes, and cleaning hair. That's why everybody should have this in their cupboard, and you really don't need to worry about tossing it away and replacing your stash frequently, as long as you keep it in an airtight container in a cool location. If you do that, your cornstarch will pretty much last, well, forever. Finally, pemmican. This really might not sound familiar to most of you, but this is the go-to food for many survivalists for several reasons, and, and we have the Native American tribes to thank for inventing it. Made up of dried meat that's ground into powder along with berries and rendered fat, it's a rich source of protein that can be stored for a long time, which is why it has earned the reputation of being the ultimate survival food. If prepared correctly and stored properly, pemmican can last for several decades. Some even swear that this nutritious and well-preserved food is part of Canadian cuisine and was the preferred main food of fur traders, as well as Arctic and Antarctic explorers who traveled at great distances and really had no time or opportunity to replenish their food supplies. This dried food could be eaten raw or cooked, and it was so valuable to so many people that it was once the center of an almost decade-long conflict in North America known as the Pemmican War. So there you go, guys. Next time you're shopping for the apocalypse, put these things on your list. Also, one thing that I left off that should be pretty obvious is water. I mean, without water, you won't last a few days, so all your food, that, that's gonna go to waste. And water never expires, so you're good to go. I just wanna mention that just in case there are people using this video as a end-of-the-world shopping list, and they buy a ton of honey and rice and cornstarch that bring all this back to their bunkers. The zombie apocalypse all of a sudden happens, they feel like they're good to go for decades, then they realize, yeah, no water. So I just wanna prevent that from happening. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.